Hey, welcome to Hooked on Utah. Today, Uber Reservoir, Monster Pike. We're gonna have a great time. These things are so big, they'll take a chunk out of your boat if you're not paying attention. Stay with us, we'll be right back. We're gonna stick some big fish. Dream big with our Hooked on Utah partners. Hell's Canyon Custom Rods by Stutzman. Rhino Linings of Utah County, protecting home, work, and vehicle. Be seen and get results from the sign guys. Sunglasses only, only the best looks, only the best price. Hydrotech Marine Performance Race Proven Products. Orange Soda Online Marketing with Fizz. And Skeeter Boats, engineered like no other. As you can see, we're down at Yuba Reservoir. Uh, many people may not know that this is one of the most accessible reservoirs in the state of Utah. Just about an hour and 15 minutes from Provo. You look around, this is a beautiful facility. About 10 years ago, the state put in a lot of money, a lot of redesign to this resort. It's got beautiful campsites, it's got a beautiful dock. What's most enjoyable about this place is it is absolutely gorgeous from a scenery perspective. You look around, beautiful clear water, scenery is amazing, and today we're hoping the fishing will be amazing. We're going after Monster Pike, and today's guest is a very special friend of mine. His name is Jerry Schlieff. He is uh, one of the most accomplished professional anglers uh, in the state of Utah, comes from Minnesota but he is one of the most dominant bass and walleye anglers here. So he's going to take us out on Yuba and hopefully get us into those monster pike. Because when you see these fish come up and take a lure, it's unlike anything you've ever seen. It's actually downright scary. Uh, at one time was, was probably one of the top walleye fisheries in the country at one time a few years ago prior to them releasing water out of here to fix the dam. These northern pike have been in here for quite a, quite a few years. It's just that they were so sparse they were you could catch a few once in a while but up until last year two years ago um, there's a, uh, a large population of them now. The actual record, I believe, is out of here um, a few years ago. And uh, it weighed 24 pounds, some ounces. But uh, after last year, I know there's, there's fish in here exceeding 26, 28 pounds. And uh, hopefully today we'll, we'll get a shot at one of them. You know, I fished a lot of bass, a lot of trout, caught a lot of big fish. Never caught anything like a pike where you're reeling into the boat and all of a sudden there's a massive explosion from something that's about that long and has teeth. And uh, I got so excited, I kept pulling the bait from the fish as they'd try to attack it at the boat. I kept pulling it away from them like I'd never fished before. And Jerry kept laughing and it was, it scares you. I mean, your heart almost jumps out of your chest when right at the boat, something that weighs about 20 pounds explodes all over your bait. Oh. oh! Oh! Look at the swirl. Look at the swirl. Oh. Look at that. That was a big fish. Just pounded my bait. You're kidding me. No. Now my adrenaline's going. Oh, believe me, bud. This is where it gets good. Jerry and I both had two big fish come and strike our baits. And when you see them, um, it's, it's exciting. Oh, Just the anticipation of waiting for something that's, you know, anywhere from 15 to 25 pounds to grab your bait. Dude, he had it. Boom, boom, boom. Felt two or three big head shakes. And we've only been out here for 30 minutes. I'm actually using uh, just a musky style spinner. Uh, it's just got a big skirted tail, great big treble hook, as you can see. And then uh, just a silver blade. Well, I've tied on a barrel swivel right here. And the reason that I put that barrel swivel on is so that as that blade spins, the bait spins too. Out here we're using a uh, spider wire, so a braided line, and I'm using 65 pound cast. There we're going. I got him. Hey. Yep. Big fish, Gary. Net. Net's in there, Gary. Hurry up, this is big. Yeah. 
bad, not bad. Let me tell you what, one of the things that makes this fishing so easy is the sensitivity of a Hell's Canyon custom rod. You can feel the slightest tick, the slightest little fish. That, as that fish picks that bait up, you can feel it. Hell's Canyon custom rods, go to the website, check them out. You'll never put a better rod in your hand. Plastic liners are for trash cans and baby diapers. Come over to Rhino Linings of Utah County and we'll put an original lifetime warranted Rhino Linings in your vehicle. We have two kinds of tough, Rhino Tough Grip and Rhino Hardline. With our lifetime warranty, we can protect your boat, truck, or trailer. Give us a call today and mention you saw us on Hooked on Utah. Receive $100 off your next Rhino Liner. A few years ago, I was designed by Skeeter to be the very best bass boat. Now, early in my career, I've pulled off something even I never dreamed of. Numerous Bassmaster Elite Series wins, multiple FLW Tournament wins, FLW Angler of the Year Award, and Best of the Best Award from Field and Stream. And as if that weren't enough, not only did I claim runner-up in the Bassmaster Classic, I won the whole darn thing. Skeeter I-Class Series. What will I achieve next?